Anyway, there are other ways to create the title block. And that depends on the experience that you have or the knowledge that you have concerning the different commands of AutoCAD. But before we try to create the title block with a different method, you may have noticed on your trim command while you're at the middle of it, for example, so I type TR and then hit twice the enter, one, two. You'll see on the tooltip that it states that select object to trim or you could press shift and then select to extend the selection for example uh, let's go down here i'll press shift and then it could extend these lines so trim could be used interchangeably with the extend command so while you're in the trim command you could actually extend the geometries but for now, let's just trim this. And to just demonstrate the extend command, so EX for extend, enter. And it's the same principle with the trim command. You have to select first your edges. For the extend, where is the boundary to extend? So for example, let's extend to the paper uh, outline, and then enter. And there you could extend there and let's uh, trim that back so TR double enter and then a window crossing to select everything let's do extend again and there enter and then enter okay so just like the trim hitting twice the enter key will make everything the boundary or cutting edges so hitting twice the enter key will make all objects a boundary and that's the same for trim so let's trim so tr and then i will hit enter twice one two and then i could cross select this one to immediately cut those unwanted geometries so let's proceed in creating again the title block this time using a different method but before we proceed make sure that the object snap tracking is toggled on and also the object snap so f3 and f11 to toggle them on let us start with a rectangle so we type rec then hit enter now for the first corner point let's take advantage of the object snap tracking let's uh, zoom in closer in the lower right corner of the first rectangle we created earlier for our a3 size paper then hover your cursor over the end point until the snap point appears now drag your cursor towards the right so that the green dash line alignment path appears and we shall be aligning the first corner of our current rectangle along this path at a particular distance of let's say um, 20 mm so type 20 to 0 then hit enter now you would notice that the first corner of our current rectangle is aligned along the lower corner of this geometry at a distance of 20 mm so we use another form of value entry to locate a point instead of coordinate entries and we call this direct distance entry what we did was drag first our cursor towards the direction of where we want the point to be located then entered the distance now for the second corner we directly type on our dynamic input the values 420 comma or tab 297 then hit your enter key please note again that typing coordinates for a second point using dynamic input the coordinates will be considered as relative coordinates now for the border lines let's uh, zoom in or zoom out a little and 
Of course, the fastest way to create that is the offset command. So let's type O and then enter. Our offset distance shall be 1 cm, so it's 10 in mm, and then enter. So select the object to offset, so we offset the rectangle. So select it, and it highlights. And move your cursor towards the direction where you want the offset to be located. So of course, you want it inside, not outside. So inside, so drag it towards the center, and then click. And then escape to finish the offset command for our title block let's uh, zoom in a little towards the lower right corner of our borderline then use again the rectangle command so type rec and then enter and let us snap at the end point of this corner for the first corner point so click here and drag your cursor towards the left and notice that the first value entry at the dynamic input turns into a negative value as you drag your cursor to the left. So, relative to the previous point, in order to move to the left, we need to input a negative value. Same is true if you want to move down in relation to the previous point. Okay, so you notice there the uh, y value turns to negative, x and y value turns to negative, x value negative but positive y value. And of course, to the right, we need to input positive values. So to delineate our title block, we type negative 70, comma or tab, and then positive 20. And then hit enter. Now for the horizontal major division, we use the line command. So let's zoom in a little more. And let's type L for the line command. So L and then enter. Again, let's make use of uh, object snap tracking and direct distance entry for the first point of the line. So hover your... Uh, cursor over this midpoint then drag your cursor along with the alignment path then type the distance of 10 and then hit enter and for the second point let's drag your cursor to the right until the snap point appears and then click to snap at that particular midpoint then just press escape or enter to Finish the command. For the vertical division, let's reinvoke the line command. So just press enter or spacebar. And hover your cursor over this endpoint. And then move it upwards along with that alignment path towards this upper part of the title block. And then when that snap point appears, click. And then drag your cursor towards the bottom part of the title block and snap to the perpendicular so click and then enter or escape to finish your line command for the other divisions you just create another line so l enter from this midpoint we click and then to this perpendicular snap point we click and then enter and for this division in this uh, part we just select this one, then copy, so CO, enter, and then from this endpoint towards this midpoint, and then enter to finish the command. And there you have another title block done in a different method. And as you progress learning the curves and the different commands in AutoCAD, your efficiency, your precision, will improve as you progress in honing your superpowers in the AutoCAD universe.